Well, again, it has been a privilege to be with you guys during this time of fasting and to do this little nuggets of teachings um, on fasting. In fact, um, I, it's when God impressed in me on that Sunday to declare a fast. Um, that's when I went home that, that Sunday night and I started researching my Bible and, and, and you know, think about doing a little um, 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 study in, on fasting. Um, and I, I jot all these little ideas down and every night I come home, I work on them um, so I could share with you. Um, again, we could have spent another month uh, we would still not be finishing with fasting, but um, I hope I get the opportunity. And I, I God is still impressing in my heart to continue um, with um, maybe continue touching on that as I preach um, in the church on Sundays. But um, today I want to talk about, uh, you know, when you're fasting, the, the, the topic of what about health? What about my health? How should someone who is dealing with um, health issues fast? Well, I, I wanna I wanna make sure I say two things. I will I will make sure that I um, that I pay close attention to that. But I wanna the first thing I wanna say is um, the definition of fast that I gave you. It says that it's a discipline in which a person, a group of a, or a nation voluntarily reduces or eliminates the intake of food for a specific purpose, time, and in turns to God or return to God in prayer. So we say eliminate or reduces the intake of food. Um, you know, if you are a healthy person, you should fast without food and, 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 and sometimes without water. And if you are a person who is dealing with health related issues there are many types of ways you could fast um, and there are some options you have depending on your health but I also say you know when God used to call declare a, a, a fast for an entire nation you know and when it's God who declared the fast I, I, I have to do a study and see and look at the culture and see what happened with people who were sick. In fact, I think we have a lot of sickness um, and it, it has a lot to do with the food we're eating and a lot of those things and not fasting enough um, because they are benefit to fasting. It cleans your body, it cleans your, your system uh, for a moment of time. So I think sometimes our sickness and our health issues has a lot to do with a lack of fasting as well um, in the presence of God. But however, there are ways to fast. But, but I would say sometimes too, um, you know, always check with your medical professionals. But again, sometimes by faith, you know, go before God if you want to fast before God. It's not just about the food. But if you want to do a fast and it requires some sacrifice, even though you have some health issues, even that I believe God uh, 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 um, will, uh, um, will see you through. Even that I believe God will teach you how to do that. Um, you know, so because fasting, remember, fasting has to do more with seeking God than not eating. The not eating is part of it. Um, but but it's not the most important part. It's the it's the seeking after God. You know, um, if you if you're not going to do a fast without food all the way and without water, um, there are some ways you could fast. You could do a water fast, means um, to abstain from all food and juices and just drink water. There is what we call make all a partial fast means to eliminate certain foods or specific meals. Um, you, could, you could decide you're gonna eliminate certain food um, during this time to seek God's face. And also specific meals, you could decide, am I gonna skip um, um, breakfast or, uh, and lunch, and, uh, but get dinner? Am I gonna skip lunch and dinner until 
breakfast the next day. So if you're dealing with health issues, there are other ways you could work, accommodate yourself so that you could seek God's face. Or you could do a juice fast. Um, some people do a juice fast. Um, means they drink only fruits and vegetable juices during their meal times. So you can, all, you, can, you can do that as well and drink vitamins and all so that you could help um, with the moment if you have some health issues. Um, another thing uh, I wanted to touch on is the desired length of your fast. It depends on you and God um, unless there is, a, um, there is a specific call for fasting from your pastor, from your, from your church, or from the group you're fasting with or your family that you create a specific time. But if it's a personal fast, it's between you and God to know if you're gonna do a breakfast fast, uh, a breakfast plus lunch fast uh, or, or until dinner or, or entire 24 hour day. Um, but you know, just like when, you build a, when you're building a house, you have to build a foundation and, and then continue brick by brick so is building a life of fasting and prayer. When you're building a life of fasting of prayer, you have to take the time and don't rush it so that you could build a good foundation and then brick by brick, build your prayer life so that you don't fall um, because you went and, 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 and exaggerate and do something that you're not used to yet or that God is not calling you to do. If God has called you to a 40, years, 40 days fast and you haven't been used to fast, by all means, you obey God because obedience is better than sacrifice. And like, and like Abraham said, he will provide, he will find a way, whether you're sick or not. If you believe it is God who's calling for it, he has a plan for you. But, 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 but knowing the natural way is to build a, a, a life of fasting and a life of prayer brick by brick right? Um, um, to remain safe um, uh, uh, during a fast for those who are dealing with health related issue, you know? So sometimes you have to make sure your body is getting the nutrient it needs. And so you can remain safe and healthy. You know, you could start to build a prayer and fasting life by starting um, every day until 12 p.m., you go before God and then you abstain from, from breakfast. You could call that a breakfast fast to focus on God. And then from there, you could move, move it to a time when you wake up until 6 p.m. You know, so just like we've been doing, so you could get dinner, one meal. You can, and then you could move it to a 24-hour fast. Um, you don't have to do that every day. Um, you could do it if, you, if you're building that life, if you're working on it, you could do it today and skip a day and do it the next day and skip today and do it the other time. So you could start building that and then you go on into two 24-hour days um, fasting and take a break until you can do seven days or what have you. So there are ways to work on it, okay? So another key factor in maintaining um, optimum health during a fast is to limit your physical activities. You know, limit your physical activities. Um, if you're gonna exercise, only ex exercise in moderate um, and, and rest as much as you can and spend, spend as much time as you can. Shirley wasn't online when I talked about it. I remember I was talking to her um, one day and she said she used to go and rent a hotel room um, and spend the day in fasting and prayer before the Lord. You see, not only is she's in the presence of God, but she's fasting and praying, but she's resting the body as well by being on that bed, by being in that room, not picking up the phone um, to speak to God. Another good thing about fasting is to turn people away. It's not just about food. Turn your phone off. Let people know that I'm, you know, and sometimes you don't even have to let people know. You turn your phone off. Trust me, if they don't see you for one day, they're not going to die. You turn it off, and it's time for you with God. I remember I used to go to a place called Singing Hill by myself. It's a huge place, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of acres of land. And sometimes I am the only person there with the staff. 
and then I'm sitting there praying. Oh, it sometimes get, you know, it's like I love to be with people. But, but as I was teaching myself, the first time it was tough. And then when I started spending those three days with God by myself, even without the family, just me alone going to Saving Hill, and that God be, began to build my prayer life and my fasting life in those days. So, so you spend time with God. Another good thing you can do, instead of exercising, go for a walk while you're praying. Instead of exercising, go for a long walk with the Lord. While you're praying, you're walking, you know? You, um, um, you, who knows, God might visit you just like Jesus visited these guys on the road to Emmaus and do the walk with you and know that sense his presence with you while you're walking and praying. You know, at least walk a mile or, or you know, and you, you're praying and you're seeking um, God's face. So we talk about how to begin a fast, what you can do, what type of fast you can do and what you can do during the fast, how you can do it different days, different, different hours until you build that. But there's also how to finish your fast in a healthy way. You know, when I first started fasting, I couldn't wait for the time to eat. And then I would fill my belly and I would, I would hurt myself because I would feel sick sometimes. But I, I came to learn that extended fast, and when I used to go on extended fast, they are, uh, are not, and those are not the only fasts which need to be ended with caution, um, you know, being cautious about it. Um, 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 there are some things you do if, you, if, you're going to, if you're going to end your fast. I would suggest that you do it with soup and you do it with vegetables. And then you do it until you feel you're about to get full, that, like, okay, I'm full now. Not to exceed that. Because it's very important when, you're, when for days your, food have, your, your stomach have not received any food, you have to be careful what you put in it. Um, potatoes, pasta, rice, bread, those things stay away from a little bit. Milk, when you're ending your fast, I would suggest more fruits and vegetables or soup. But not to exaggerate the eating, but just to satisfy yourself. And then your belly, and then you continue. Um, I, I would I would suggest that for any one day to three day fast, that you're being very cautious about how you end um, your fast. Um, so, uh, um, so, so, but, but with all this, God is the one who will keep you healthy. Um, and being in the presence of God and fasting and is what matters. If you are fasting without praying, you are only dieting. You are only dieting. The most important part about fasting, as we said, is to spend time with God. Amen. So we're going to.